What if I told you that a player can have six star skill moves in EA Sports FC 24? Well, this is pretty much possible with the new playstyles feature that we're going to be explaining in this video. You may remember traits in FIFA 23. This is essentially replacing that. Simply put, this new feature, playstyles, is going to be giving players unique abilities, which is going to be affecting how they are going to be playing in game. So as we can see here on the screen right now, these are all of the traits that we had in FIFA 23, and they have been directly copied and transferred into the new playstyles in EA Sports FC 24 and there are 34 playstyles in total. For example, let's take a look at the quick step playstyle. This is basically going to be increasing the pace of a player. For each playstyle there will be a base normal version and there is also going to be a plus version for every single playstyle. In this case, Quick Step Plus, this is essentially, again, just gonna be making the card even faster. And we can see this with this example here at the top. We can see this is just with no playstyle. In the middle, this is a player with the base normal Quick Step playstyle. And at the bottom, the fastest player is the one that has the Quick Step Plus. So as well as traits from last year that are gonna be converting into playstyles, we have many new ones. Some of them are quite self-explanatory. As we can see here on the screen, I didn't really feel any need to explain these because we can all understand them very easily. But there are quite a few interesting ones which we can dive into. Firstly, we have the dead ball playstyle. This is going to be making set pieces easier and it's going to be doing that by making the ball trajectory preview line longer. So this is going to be giving you a better idea of where the ball is going to end up going. Next we have incisive pass. This is going to be improving through balls. So it's going to be making them faster and also more accurate. Also it reduces the chance of defenders getting in the way and taking the ball away from you. We have quite a few passing ones. We have pinged pass which is going to be making passes along the ground faster. Then we have long ball pass which is essentially the same thing just for lob passes. Then we have Tiki Taka, which is quite an interesting one. This is going to be improving the accuracy and also the speed of short ground passes. And finally, the last passing one is Whipped Pass. This is going to be for crossing. It's going to improve them faster, again, more accurate, and also it is going to be increasing the curve. Moving on, we have the first touch play style, which is quite an interesting one. This is going to be increasing the control when receiving the ball. And when you take a look at the example here given by EA Sports, it is pretty insane. I do think that this is an exaggerated scenario. I don't think uh, the passes that you're going to be receiving are going to be this crazy, but still it just shows how powerful this new feature play styles are and it could be a serious meta in EA Sports FC 24. Following that we have press proven and this is going to be increasing the shielding from the opponent so again if you have a huge player like Haaland this could be incredibly overpowered. Next we have the technical play style this is similar to something we had in FIFA 23 it's going to increase the speed when a player is dribbling with the ball so if you imagine a dribbling boost in mystery ball it's sort of the that same vibe it's going to be increasing the pace a little bit as well the trickster play style is absolutely insane this is the six star skill move that i was talking about because when you have this you're going to be unlocking the ability to perform unique ground and flick skill moves and some of these are just going to be absolutely insane you can imagine this in foot champions division rivals those that really know how to utilize these skill moves it's going to be very, very interesting to watch this. Not only for attacking, but also for defending, we do have the anticipate play style. This is going to be improving the chances of standing tackle success. And also there is actually a new tackle, which is called the new stop ball stand tackle. And you're going to be unlocking the ability to that. So it is going to be quite interesting. This should mean that when you do successfully tackle and you get the ball, you should keep the ball um, when you win it, which is something which hopefully this works properly. 
I've experienced many times before where I tackle the opponent and it just goes straight back to the opponent. So this should be quite a nice play style. Following that, we have the acrobatic play style, which is gonna be improving the accuracy of volleys. And also you're gonna be getting access to a unique acrobatic volley animation which just looks absolutely incredible moving on the aerial play style is going to be increasing headers you're going to be having higher jumping animations which could be quite cool players with the relentless play style aren't going to be losing stamina as quickly they should be able to retain it and this is going to be huge when you take a look at half time maybe even when you get to extra time this could be incredibly useful there are also a couple for goalkeepers don't worry ea sports haven't forgotten about them we have footwork which is that goalkeepers will perform saves with their feet more frequently so this is sort of going to be useful for close range shots and then we also have far reach which is going to be for goalkeepers saving shots from outside the box. This is sort of gonna be for long shots, maybe even for free kicks. This play style could be quite effective. Comment down below which one is your favorite.